Hey guys, I'm Angela Simmons. Some of you may know me, some of you may not know me. You may have seen me on Daddy's Girls, Growing Up Hip Hop, Run's House, you name it. This is my first episode of Just Angela. You're gonna get things you never get anywhere else. Let go of whatever the people didn't put up on me for the day and just keep it moving. I mean, it's not lit, so you know, right? Like, what is this wood stick she's holding? Perfume. Do you know how to mix them? Y'all got me feeling good now. I'm about to do something. Usa. I'm gonna be sharing the real, real, the real, real, real about me. The mommy me, the getting ready me, the working out me, uncut, the real deal. Everything that I am is gonna be right here. This is raw, this is me, this is just Angela. I don't know if you're ready for it, but I'm about to give it to you. A lot of you guys know me, but like you really don't know me. And so I really want to kick this off with 10 quirks you guys don't, is it quirks or quirks? Quirks, 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 sorry. <laughs> all right, so I snort when I laugh. Not all the time, but you have to be really funny or someone that knows me would know this. Kind of like just catches me off guard. It's like I could be dressed out, gown and everything. If someone says something funny enough, I'm snorting. I don't know at what age, but all of a sudden I would laugh and I'm like, am I snorting? And it's the weirdest thing and it happens often as long as you're funny or I really like you and my close friends know it, now you guys know it. <laughs> I guess the most embarrassing time snorting would be on a date or something and they don't know that I like snort and it's like, they're like, did you just snorkel? Did you just snort? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they don't care. It's usually fine, but it's just weird to me. I'm like, I did not mean to snort. <laughs> okay guys, so this next quirk, I am really obsessed with this stuff. Perfume. I cannot get enough of different scents, but ones I really like, but I like layering stuff, right? Because I feel like anyone can go in the store and buy this, but do you know how to mix them? Do you know how to mix all three of them or layer them? Like I'm really, ah! I'm really big on layering perfume. So it's, and then it's another one on top of that. I think I had uh, the wrong way, <laughs> but, and then you thought I was done, didn't you? No. Literally, I will use like five cents. I feel like, why not? Who wants to smell like one person when you can smell like a couple? <laughs> I <laughs> dropped. I started layering perfume forever ago. I don't know, I've always liked layering things. I like mixing things, I like making things my own, so I always just feel like, okay, I like this scent, but I also like this scent, and I like this scent. So what if you put them all together? Then it's an explosion. <laughs> I never wanna be outside and my perfume wears off. So you gotta put on just enough so from morning to night you still smell good. So I have like 12, tattoos, I might have 13, I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to lose count, which is pretty bad because I started off with one and people never know that I have so many. They're like behind my ear, here, foot, in my hairline. Like I got kind of crazy with it. I started with like one star on my foot just to be reminded to be shining like a star to keep that like quality to yourself. You know, you keep yourself shining and like a star. I wanted a different one on my wrist and my dad talked me out of it. And then he okayed this, the one on my foot. And so after that foot one, I promised, I was like, I'm not gonna win anymore. I'm, I'm pretty deep in it at this point. <laughs> if I could be someone else, I want a whole sleeve. I really would want that, but it just wouldn't go with like the things that I wear. I don't know, when I wear clothes, if I want you to see them, then cool. But if not, like in a swimsuit, you're gonna see like my Love Conquers All, which Mr. Cartoon did. And then like, I have like another, like I'm, I'm, I'm tatted, but I'm not tatted. Are you able to show us any? I mean, if you want me to take my shoes off. <laughs> this is longitude and latitude of where I met my son's father. We actually had matching tattoos. I felt like that was a really important moment in my life. And my son came out of that. And then my son's name, obviously, because that's my heart. And so I always want him close to me, even if he's not around me. Oh, look, my son's name is visible. I got this, this is my most recent one, actually. I just got that one. They're random, like they're behind my ear, they're on my side. And I have like faith on my foot, cross. You know what, I really don't know what, where I'm gonna stop. That's what scares me about tattoos. Like, I started at one, my dad was like, you're not gonna stop. I was like, yes, I am. Mm, I'm 33 now and I'm still going. It's getting kind of busy, but I'm not done. <laughs> Okay, so my mom may have made me a little superstitious, but since I was younger, I've always had this thing where I was told if you step over someone or over their feet that it stunts their growth. If someone steps over me, I'm like, step back, step back. I don't, it's like kind of weird. Not everyone's heard of it, but it's the 
still in me. Like, cause I feel like if I step over someone or someone steps over me, I'm like, no, no, go back. It's kind of weird. All right, so this is another superstitious weird one. I won't sweep over anyone's feet or like you have to spit on the broom. I don't know where that's from, but I think my mom taught me that, I'm not gonna lie. So anytime someone accidentally sweeps, I'm like, don't do it. And then like, I'm like, you gotta spit on the broom. It's this whole thing. Why would you spit? I don't know, but that's what it, I'm telling you, it's real. <laughs> okay. You've never heard of it. Hey, I mean, I've seen my mom do it. She'd be like, oh, give me the broom, spits on it. Cause you can't re-sweep over, so you gotta spit on it. That's how you get rid of it. It don't matter where you spit on the broom, just spit on the broom. And then you know you're forgiven. Spit on the broom or just don't sweep on my feet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm an entrepreneur, I work a lot, I'm constantly on the move, I'm really busy. I feel like I always need to figure out my zen in between my madness. And the only way I can do that is by bringing my vibe with me wherever I go, whether it's my home in Miami, or I'm home in New York, or I'm traveling overseas. I always need to set my mood. Let me show you how I do that. A, I can't use um, a lighter, like I don't know how to use, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I don't know how to use it, so I always need something like this. <laughs> And then boom, candles. It's a whole vibe. If you have a bunch of these lit around, I feel like instantly I'm at peace. It takes a little while of light, but I'm getting there. Look how calming that is. I bet y'all are calm right now as I do this. You see that? No, you didn't see that because it didn't light. <laughs> but see how calming and soothing that is, right? So A, I kick it off with that, boom, right? Then I work my way over to my favorite incense. This brand is like one of my favorites. And so I might get carried away sometimes and do like three at a time, but today I'm gonna just show y'all one because I don't want to waste my incense. <sighs> I do this in the morning, at night, whenever. I let it lay a little bit, watch it burn out, start my day off with some inspirational stuff. And then you just do this all over the house and then I'll sit it down and something about the scent just like really helps me through my day. So boom. And then, these, people always like, what is that? It's a pollen santo stick. It like really helps with energy. So right when I get in the house, before I go to bed or even in the morning, I just light it and I do one of these. Let go of whatever the people didn't put up on me for the day and just keep it moving. I mean, it's not lit, so you <laughs> right? like, what is this wood stick she's holding? But it's really good. It is the best for like energy right now. Y'all got me feeling good now. I'm about to hit some yoga, <laughs> I'm about to do something. So. This is how you light the Palm Santo. You let it really get a good burn on it. And I let it burn out for a while so that when I blow it out, it kind of like stays for a while. So I'm letting it burn out and then I'll hit him with a You see? And then you got all of this and you just, this is how when I walk in, after I've been talking to folks and working, just, I need all that energy up off me. I just need my own energy. Woosa. <laughs> and so that is how I pretty much keep myself sane. I also have another Incense, this one is like anti-stress. I have so many, this is like what I do. Like I actually like do this every day. If I don't do this for a day, something's not right. This really smells good. <laughs> Can you guys smell this through the camera? <sighs> I really love this stuff. I really don't even wanna put it out. <laughs> I will not travel without this one thing, my blanket. Well, I don't care what plane I'm on. I don't care if it's private. I don't care if it's commercial. I need my plane, my blanket. I like to just wrap up in it. It's like, I don't know, it's something about it. And then I need my blanket when I get to wherever I'm going, right? Because I like to sleep with a fuzzy blanket. I would not sleep without one. Like I need it like right here under my chin. Like I'm, I don't know, I've been like that for a long time. I don't know if it makes me feel like I'm more at home, but like I need, I have to have a fuzzy blanket. I'm not moving without my fuzzy blanket. And I'll be liking it just like right here. On me, cozy. I had a blanket that was really ratty and at some point I realized I just need to keep buying a new one because it was my favorite and I kept washing it and then the fuzzy was no longer fuzzy, it was kind of matted. <laughs> so yeah, here I am with a new blanket. I can't swallow pills, never. I've tried when I was younger, I gag, I choke. It's like a whole scene if you try to make me swallow a pill. Even after my son having my kid, I could not swallow pills. They gave me children's Tylenol. I can't swallow pills. So with the pills, I just like open it and take them or I'll crush it or chew it. I find that if it's not something like an Advil, which I rarely take, like something for a headache, I'll just chew the pill. It's probably gross, but I'm so used to tasting nasty stuff because I can't swallow pills that nothing tastes nasty anymore. 
Okay guys, so I have the craziest obsession with herbs. I actually wanted to be a natural doctor and still kind of do, like homeopathic. So I had really bad anxiety and I went to a homeopathic doctor and they gave me stuff that like helped me. And I was like, hmm, I like that herbs can help you. And it like, it's effective and it's natural. And so after that, I like started just doing research or when I would get new herbs, I'd be like, okay, so there's an herb for everything. And so here I am, just an herb fanatic. I have a very large herb collection. I know a lot about herbs and so does my four-year-old son. So that's how you know I love herbs. I'm like, oh, have you taken colostrum? Uh, are you taking cat's claw, coral of leaf? I mean, there's this stuff that like the day-to-day -day person does not know that I am learning and I wanna learn more, like it's not enough. But I love it. I love that herbs can heal you, so why not? I really just go by whatever I need at the moment. Like right now, I'm on my like calming zen stuff. Being that I have so much going on, I think it's really important to make sure that like my adrenals are at the right place and like my heart functionality, cardio stuff, garlic is good for that. There's so many different things, so it's hard to say. I just like whatever's gonna heal my body. I personally like taking either an herb that's made in a liquid or I mean, some are in capsules and you can't help it. So I just pop it open and do like this. I'm like in public, out and about. People are like, what are you taking? I'm like, it's my herbs. And I'm like out, powder falling down my face because it never fully hits my, it always just kind of like veers off. So <laughs> then there's that. I'm kind of sorta a water snob, right? People think water all tastes the same. It does not, people. It all tastes differently. I have to have certain waters. Like I love Essentia, I love Fiji. I love kegging water, like just certain waters I have to have. Like filtered, all natural, like that crisp feeling. And I actually only drink room temperature water for the most part, because it's better for you. That's what I heard. So I'm a little weird when it comes to water. I'll get in the room, I'm like, what kind of water's in here? No, I need this. Like, I don't know, it all tastes different to me. Essentia, like, it's just refreshing, it's good. The pH is cool. Um, Fiji's really refreshing. I like anything that tastes like crisp. Like it's like a crisp, I don't know how to explain it, but it's crisp. There are some waters that make me nauseous too. Like, I don't know what's in it, but it makes me nauseous. So I know that I'm not crazy. Like, I know what I know. I mean, so you guys always are talking about it, but I mean, it's me. I love dancing, but I don't have rhythm and I really can't dance, but I like to have fun. So I really don't care. And so all that to say is, I'm gonna dance with no rhythm for the rest of my life, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> People just think I'm stiff. I mean, they're like, you can't dance. I mean, I think dancing is art. So technically I can dance. I just don't dance to what you desire. So that's a lot different. I can dance. Everyone can technically dance. Now dance well and dance, two different things. I can't get dances. I can try to Millie Rock. I can, I can do the Macarena perfectly. Cha. Easy, easy, but I don't know. There's really no, I try not to be with the trend because I really don't, I don't know. Mama don't got all that and I'm a mom now, so I got an excuse. Like, you know, mama don't want to be doing all that. No, I just can't do it. My son, uh, SJ, he just does his own thing. His little dancing is like, you know, when you're four, this is bouncing, jumping, spinning. You know how kids do, it's like break dancing. You're like, what is that dance? But the fact that you're happy and it works. Are you ready for the dance? Are you ready? Go one and two, get it. I be telling him, cause his dad used to joke because his dad couldn't dance either. And his dad used to say, I don't know, between me and you, I don't think he's gonna be able to dance. I'd be like, leave me alone. But his dad couldn't dance either, so, you know, his dad could've gave a one, two, so SJ's doing a little more. We just don't, it has to develop a little more. I love you guys. I thank you guys for being here on Just Angela. Every time you come here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of me. Make sure you guys join me every week for a new episode.